we've been working with pigfish or piggy perch to try to develop uh, the, a potential commercial industry for production of bait fish. Uh, there's lots of reasons for doing this. We, we have, from our preliminary data, we believe that this fish is going to be very amenable to culture. It, it uh, seems to grow well uh, under laboratory conditions and probably under farm conditions. It seems to grow fast. Uh, and one of the highlights of the species is that it does not appear to be cannibalistic, which is something we see an awful lot of species, which means that you can grow higher densities of fish and therefore make it more economical. So uh, what we're hoping is that if all the things work out and it turns out to be a good species for aquaculture and commercially viable, we can have a lot of benefits. First of all, we would create a new industry that doesn't exist right now. We're going to have, you know, bait fish industry, bait fish farming. Uh, so that's new industry, new jobs. From the fisherman's point of view, we hope to be able to spawn this fish year-round and therefore provide the market with bait-sized fish all year-round. Right now, this particular species is only available for a few months during the summer when they're naturally at the right size. Later on, they're too big. Earlier, they're too small. So we could provide more fishing opportunities for people. And then the unknown story that I think is probably lurking in the background is the environmental or conservation angle. You know, we surveyed bait shop owners in Port Aransas last year to find out how many pig fish they sell a year. And then we multiplied that number by uh, the number of bait stands there are. And we figured that there's about 400,000 bait fish being taken out of our bays every year for the commercial bait industry, you know, for the bait shops. That doesn't count the bait that the fishermen are catching for themselves, right? So there's an awful lot of piggy perch being taken out of the bays. Now, nobody knows whether that's a problem. It's not been documented, but it's hard to imagine that removing that number of fish from a small area year after year can't be having some kind of impact on the ecosystem. So, you know, if we can offset some of that by growing fish in the laboratory, taking the pressure off the wild fish, and maybe even taking the pressure off other bait fish like, like Kroger, uh, this, this uh, idea of commercializing bait fish aquaculture could have so many benefits in, in those four different areas that I talked about.